Hello and welcome to this uh, final uh, live session for today where we are going to be wrapping up with the uh, New York markets. Uh, we have quite a few interesting pairs to look into uh, this uh, live session, uh, reviewing the markets. But first, uh, and as usual, we are going to look into the uh, euro against the American dollar first uh, before we can move into our other pairs, okay? All right, uh, I believe you can see my screen and hear my voice at your end. Uh, if you can uh, do that, uh, then please, as you are moving to the live trading room if this is your very first time joining in uh, click on the play button then simply uh, click on the settings tab uh, right here and select your video quality to the uh, 480 pixel so you can get a better stream quality at your end okay all right uh, let's now look into the forex factory economical calendar to see those uh, news announcements that we are expecting for tomorrow uh, according to my calendar here in the forest factory, um, we have a quite uh, a, a, a few uh, high impact news announcements here. As you know, we are only pay attention to those uh, red news events. All right, these are the ones that uh, move the markets uh, the most. Okay, all right. So uh, mostly a uh, species and statements uh, for tomorrow. No real actual numbers are coming out. So. Um, we should be careful trading these currencies that will be affected tomorrow the australian dollar the euro the uh, canadian dollar and the american dollar uh, you should be careful trading them especially around their news release hours okay all right now let's uh, move into the charts and see what the euro against the american dollar has been doing for quite a while all right thanks uh, raj for confirm for uh, that confirmation uh euro against the american dollar this is the uh, daily time frame well the last time we talked about uh a kind of a trick here for a price that this level that uh, a lot of traders have been uh, calling this a shoulder head shoulder pattern formation because we got that uh, level there acted as support and this one here as support as well okay that's the uh, neckline and uh, this one here is what they call the uh, shoulder the head here is something you need to be worried about because we are having uh, one, two, three tops there. Okay, three tops, and we are having uh, another one right here, here again, here again, here again. All right, all of this uh, type of price action should call for worry. A clear shoulder head shoulder pattern formation gives you a clear price pattern. Okay, clear price pattern. There is no mixture. Um, even though price is not uh, it's not perfect you will see it very clearly that that is the shoulder this is the uh, head this is the uh, next uh, shoulder and this is obviously the neckline that has been broken and upon the breakout you should see an immediate pullback all right an immediate pullback one two three candles pulling back to retest that breakout point and also an immediate push to the downside in heavy momentum and the uh, expectation is that price is going to push um in this in this uh, length all right in the widest length that's from the uh, head to the neckline that should be your projection to the downside that is the expectation all right so if this is um let's call this uh point a all right and point b this is point c this is point d it's a simple arithmetic that uh, point a B should be equal to point C D. All right, that's the expectation. If price breaks the neckline, okay. But here you are seeing that the uh, shoulder here is quite clear. This one is quite clear, even though we had a little bit of a sideways price behavior. But we had one, two, three, right there. This should give. This should call for worry. Okay, that is not a valid uh, head. Then the second shoulder, you have one, two, three. That should also call for worry, all right? Not really valid. Uh, in my opinion, uh, you might be looking at this. This is what has already played out. Um, this where you have this area here as uh, support, okay? Uh, on and off, it should be fine. It's fine at my end. Okay, so this is what has played out in my uh, opinion. But right now, the uh, euro against the American dollar, we actually drew this line. This is uh, our consign. 
this is what we are looking at we are not interested in that shoulder head shoulder part information this is the uh, actual price behavior that we have been following we want price to break out of this channel okay uh, you can actually see how price has been respecting uh, that line as resistance and be respecting the lower leg right here as a uh, support okay um, if actually uh, this is this uh, was a valid uh, breakout of that neckline we shouldn't be seeing this much hesitation this is what I actually do not like about it well uh, as it is right now this is heavily mixed okay anything can happen here it can push to the downside it can push to the upside but hey the warning here is to avoid trading this actually let's let's zoom in this pair again in the uh, daily time frame here let me just show you that let me draw this area here as uh, support okay just draw that i don't know if you can see that uh, candle very clearly now that was our uh, final swing low okay price coming back down for today what are you saying that is a doji or even a pin bar it might even close as a pin bar for today okay and you see that that is a sign of rejection tomorrow don't be surprised to see price give us that heavy push to the upside don't be surprised to see that uh, that is why you need to be absolutely careful following the bandwagon that hey the euro against the american uh, dollar is going to push to the downside uh, this is an early hint be very careful if i were you actually i will be looking for a long opportunity from here on uh, i will be placing my buy uh, stop order uh, my uh, stop loss and by tomorrow might be seen price pushing to the upside anyway we are not really taking this because uh, it is just to mix it's a range for several days we will be looking into the uh, into another american dollar across uh, that is where we have our trading opportunity coming so uh, we are not really uh, taking this one but just as a note of warning be careful uh, clicking on your sell button we are already getting that hint that price is about to push to the upside okay if you also look into the four hours time frame like uh, i was looking at uh, uh, earlier today let me uh, try to uh, zoom that out you note that we had that little push to the upside then price uh, moved sideways price gave us several patterns and what i am seeing here is more of an expanding triangle let me try to be more accurate let's see that in the one hour time frame actually uh just give me a minute okay um all right that's it let's draw uh, to the upside okay that's it let's uh, zoom in a bit okay need to be very accurate with this line right now all right so in the uh, one hour time frame you can practically see that sign of market confusion uh, where price has been in an expanding triangle okay an expanding triangle uh, finding support at that level that has been holding price for today and you can see the reaction uh, of that level so uh, support 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 and a lot of traders have been clicking on their sell buttons surrounding here against this level of support they didn't really look at this they were just clicking on their sell button and you can see the uh, reaction of that level uh, in the daily time frame we are seeing a doji or even a pin bar that might close at the end of, of uh, today uh, tomorrow don't be surprised to see price uh, push up probably to retest the uh, upper boundary of uh, this expanding triangle that you are seeing in the one hour time frame all right so um there is there are levels of support around in here so if you must go short wait for price to break below uh, those levels of support before you want to start searching for your short entries otherwise for now uh, the euro against the american dollar is very hesitant uh, pushing to the downside anything can happen at uh, any moment this is an actual bounce you can see that v shape 
right whenever you see a v shape it's a bounce so price is likely to keep pushing to the upside okay all right uh, like i said we have our own trading opportunity coming on, on one of the american dollar uh, cross so that is the one that we are actually going to be looking at okay without any waste of time let's uh, look into our other pairs of interest uh, and uh, just conduct our analysis very quickly 